In this episode, we release version three. Let's have a look at it. Is that it? Hi and welcome to this Oracle. This is just going to be a very quick video introducing the version 3 of the DAC Audio software. Uh, we're going to go through bits of tutorials on each individual bit of it uh, in future videos. For now I just thought I'd mention that it's out there and we've released it. If you go to my website and go to basics, you can see I've got a news article there which you can click on. If you go to basics, audio, DAC for sound, click library downloads there. And that'll take you to this page where you can actually download uh, version 3. I've discontinued basically version... Let's get that. Computer's just lagging up for some reason. But yeah, I've discontinued the previous versions. I'm not going to let them be downloaded because they're buggy. Things are done a little bit differently now as well. So if you click there to download version 3 and install it, then it'll present you with some examples once the thing so install. So go to examples, uh, X, XD DAC audio, and um, we've got the playing the uh, WAV file, uh, doing the music, which I demoed in the last video, quick link I'll do above now. Um, what we call multiplayer, multiplayer repeat. Uh, play WAV, I won't bother loading it up, but that's what's currently uh, on the ESP32 now, so I'll just turn the volume up. And we've heard them in previous examples of the early uh, library. So what I'm going to load up now is the music score, which again, I demoed last time. I'll just show very, very quickly. I'll jump up probably the uploads if it's taking time. So we'll just upload that to the ESP32. I've also made a little change to my hardware. Uh, in, an, in another video, a couple of videos ago, it was one of my RAM videos, I'd uh, managed to destroy the voltage regulator on, my, on my, another ESP32, not this one. And I suspect it was because I was trying to run the audio hardware from the 3.3 volts on the ESP32, which is obviously coming from that. And you do a few calculations, that would actually put it quite near its limit in some cases. So I think actually uh, that was probably a mistake. I don't know what I was thinking of, because you can just run this straight from the 5 volts. So I've got the um, 5 volts from the voltage, from basically from V in. Is that actually connected okay? From the V in, going straight along there. So I'm now powering all this in the 5 volts, and that should reduce the stress and the load on there. Uh, on, the initial, on the original circuit diagram, and the one that's on the website now, it does just say connect to VCC, but I think you paid attention to what my own design was. Right, so that um, took some time to compile, so I'll jump up to when it's uploading. Okay, we're uploading. And again, that was shown in the previous video. So we'll go to another example. Down to DAC audio again. And we'll go to the one called Multiplay. What Multiplay allows you to do is to play sounds one after the other, whether it's a WAV file, uh, a musical score like this one. So look, we've got our musical score there. We're bringing in the, the sound sample there. And there's the music score being created, which in the last demo, we just quickly played, just by saying DAC Audio Play and passed it the music variable there, object. Uh, to get things to play one after the other, we create a sequence. So we have this multiplay class, and we just create an object called sequence. And to that sequence, we just add the items in the order we want them to play to it. So add a play item, the force with you, and then the music. So you should play that, and then switch to the music. We'll play it once, and then it will stop. So I'll do the force with you, play the music, and then it should just stop. And then we go and just play that sequence there. So I'll upload that. Again, probably jump cut, because that last one took forever to compile. Our computer is really just playing up a little bit. Okay, so we're uploading. So we should hear the wave file, wave file playing first, and then the music. There we go. 
Simple as that. And that will get quite a bit annoying. Um, so that'll just play once and then it should end. So this was just a very, very quick intro to it. So in later videos, I will actually go through each one of those, explain them a little bit more as we go along. So I'll go through the wave files again, I'll go through playing music again, I'll go through that bit again as individual videos. But for now, like, subscribe, share, all that things which helps YouTube promote my videos is great. So before you move on now, press that like button, it will be really appreciated. All for now, thanks for watching.